Hello there YouTube, this is an update for your Clipper Screen tutorial to install a Clipper Screen on your Fluid Pi and um, I just start up the last video's uh, installation here and uh, this is the GUI that you get if you didn't install a, a Clipper Screen yet so let me show you this and after this, I'm gonna have to install Clipper Screen through my PC and uh, see you there. So now I'm at the computer end of the installation. And let me put this away here. So this is the website that you have to come to, uh, to clipperscreen.readthedocs.io. And here you just... Uh, open putty and whilst you're doing this your um, Raspberry Pi as I showed now just before has to be running so I'm just uh, logging in there we go I raspberry and now once we have this screen now we have to oh, hold on whilst you're doing this just add this IP address to your the configuration file okay, here the moon maker and then just add it in between here so that it's in the trusted uh, IP address so just like this save and close and then we just go back here we also have to put this apparently copy come back here and add it after this so we just close and restart shouldn't take long this is something we have to check on later just close it here now There was a bug in my mouth, <laughs> just now gone. So we just copy all these comments and put it on here. No, that was wrong. Copy, paste. right and now the third command we go and then the fourth command you just do this and this is going to take a while i think uh, so once this is finished we'll get back to it I am not sure how long this takes, but uh, it is taking some time. Let me see here. Um, I'll have to pause the video the video because uh, I think this is gonna take some time to to finish. I think it's now almost finished installing. It took about five minutes now. I think something give it or take. Um, 
and I think these are all the fault messages here uh, mean that uh, the, those options are not being used anymore so I think this is a little uh, outdated I'm not sure but I'm going to take those away so let me see here what I just did here the last thing that I added I think it was update manager clipper screen yeah this one so I'm gonna take this off like this and I'm gonna wait until this is finished So now it's a uh, virtual environment is created. It's asking for my uh, password, which is Raspberry. I just give it in. So now what's now happening is I'll show you. So this is the screen that just popped up uh, without doing anything. And uh, it seems to be installed. So I'll just pull all. Just to see of uh, it's responsive. So just get out here, configuration limits, all looks well. Uh, system. So let's say it's all up to, up to date. As we did on the last video, we up we updated everything. So it should be all well. So this is how you install a uh, clipper screen on your uh, fruit pie and once it's installed you can just make it uh, work through this screen or your computer uh, uh, from fluidpie.local it's uh, the choice is up to you choose your uh, choose your poison so it's all looking well and um, if you guys have tried the same things as I did and it didn't work then um, there must be something that you did it wrong or, or there was a file that wasn't intended there uh, as I'm going to show right now so now back to the computer side I was going to show you this so I changed it so let's restart firmware restart and uh, let's see Clips invalid pad in section. Let me see here. Configuration. Did it actually take it? How to refresh through. So let's try this. Okay, it won't refresh, so I'll just try to log in again. All right, so now all the messages are, are gone. So look at the dashboard. So what I had to do is uh, take this, what I put in. I had to take it away again. I'm not sure. Maybe this is outdated, as it's saying on the fluid pie. So... I just took it away and restarted and now it's gone so you don't even have to put this into uh, into the configuration file of moonraker so let me see all the rest is is here and um, clipper screen is also installed and that'll be it anyways guys if you like the video hit the thumbs up 
and if you didn't like the video hit the thumbs down uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos and uh, stuff like this in the future bye